hello everyone in this session we will be learning about what is a data stonor ratio and calculating a average collection period of data okay so again data stonor ratio is a type of activity ratios okay so what is the activity ratio the activity ratios are also called as turnover ratios or performance ratios okay so these ratios are employed to evaluate the efficiency with which the firm manages or utilizes its assets okay so ratio usually indicates the frequency of sale with respect to those assets this assets may be anything they may be your fixed assets that is capital assets or working capital that is your net current assets or your stock inventory or debtors or creditors also okay so this rate ratios are usually calculated with reference to either sales or cost of sales okay now data stern or ratio so how do we calculate a data stern or ratio so data stern or ratio is equal to sales upon your average debtors average debtors means opening balance of debtors plus closing balance of debtors divided by 2 now since the debtors okay debtors are concerned only with your credit sales your sales may be cash sales as well as credit sales okay in ca in case of cash sale there are no debtors right you sell the goods for cash so debtor come into picture only when there is a credit sale so instead of sales to get a precise debtor turn or ratio you can use credit sales divided by average debtors okay so this is debtor turn or ratio okay now the data stern or ratio we have seen now what we need to see what is a average collection period okay so the collection period for every each and every debtors will be different right some debtors may pay in 2 months some debtors may pay in 2 and 1/2 months and so on but we need to find out what is a average collection period okay so average collection period is your average accounts receivable or debtors okay that is your average debtors for the year divided by your average daily credit sales okay average accounts receivable divided by your average daily credit sale that is nothing but your average debtors divided by what is average sale average sale is credit sales upon number of days in the year so it can take it 365 days so if you see your average collection period okay average collection period formula is just opposite of your data stern or ratio okay so credit sale upon average data in case of data stern or ratio whereas in average collection period it is average data upon credit sale divided by 165 so that is nothing but average debtors divided by credits sales right so that is nothing but your debtors turn or ratio the reverse of debtors turn or ratio right so it will be how much 365 divided by your Data's turnover ratio. This is the other formula for calculating your average collection period. Okay, three sixty five, or you can also put it as twelve months instead of three sixty five. Okay, so 
if you see what is a turnover turnover in stators are rotated so many times in the year so what is the average date average collection period is when datas are rotated so many times in the year we have to divide those number of times okay you have to divide 365 by those number of times or you have to divide 12 months by those number of time okay so this is how you calculate data turnover ratio and average collection period now we'll see an example okay so this is an example credit sales rupees 3 lakh opening balance of accounts receivable is 40000 closing balance of accounts receivable is 60000 find data turnover ratio and average collection period okay so credit sales is 3 lakh opening balance of accounts receivable is opening balance of debtors right closing balance of accounts receivable is closing balance of debtors okay now let's find out debtors turnover ratio so debtors turnover ratio is equal to credit sales upon average accounts receivable or you can also say average debtors okay so how much is the credit sales 3 lakh divided by what is the average accounts receivable opening balance of debtors 40000 plus closing balance of debtors 60000 divided by 2 so that comes to 3 lakh divided by 1 one, 1 lakh divided by 2 that is 50000 so your debtors turnover ratio is 6 Okay, that is your data is are rotating six times in a year. Okay, now let's calculate a collection period of data. Okay, so we'll calculate collection period in two ways. Collection period of datas. Okay, is equal to one formula is. You can use three sixty five days upon your data's turnover ratio. Okay, or you can also say twelve months upon your data's turnover ratio. Okay, depending on if you want to find out collection period in number of days or years, so it will be three sixty five. upon 6 or 12 upon 6 okay so this 365 upon 6 comes to 60.83 days approximately 61 days or 2 months 12 by 6 okay now this is one of the way of calculating collection period of data now there is one more formula which we had seen what is the collection period of datas formula that is accounts receivable average accounts receivable upon average daily credit sales so in this it will be average accounts receivable upon average daily credit sales now in this we are taking average daily credit sales right so we will be getting the collection period in number of days okay so for in this we won't get the credit uh, collection period in months okay now average accounts receivable what is the average account receivable average account receivable is opening balance plus closing balance divided by 2 so we have calculated it here so that comes to 50000 so 50000 divided by average daily credit sales so what is our credit sales total credit sales was 3 lakh 3 lakh divided by 365 so 3 lakh divided by 365 okay so it this comes to 50000 divided by what is 3 lakh divided by 365 
this is 821.9 so this comes to 60.83 days or approximately 61 days so these are two ways in which you can calculate collection period of datas okay so this was about a collection period of datas and datas turnover ratio thank you